Hello, I'm Miss Amber with the Greater Valley YMCA. I'm doing an art lesson today and it's based on a book that I read. You can find my video on our YouTube channel. It's based on the book The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Pfister. If you've read this story, what happens to our main character, the rainbow fish? Oh. That's right, he enjoys in the beginning just swimming around showing off those really shiny, beautiful scales until one of his friends asks if they can have a scale. And at first the rainbow fish didn't wanna share. He didn't, didn't like the idea of giving away his most prized possessions, but he soon came to realize that no one wanted to be his friend if he didn't share. So he started giving away his scales and by the end of the book, every friend has one and they're all so happy together and Rainbow Fish realizes that it's better to share with his friends and be happy with them than be alone and sad. So we're gonna make our very own Rainbow Fish today during our art project. When we talk about the rainbow, what colors do you think of? I can name at least six colors that you'd find in the rainbow, and we're gonna use those today to make our very own rainbow fish. So I have one that's already been done. Um, here it is, and you can see it's got his shiny scale, and it has the colors of the rainbow. What are the colors of the rainbow? Yes, there's purple, there's red, there's blue, green, yellow, and orange. Those are the colors of the rainbow. So we'll be using those six colors today. And I also colored my fish here with purple because that was my favorite color. So you'll pick your favorite color out of these six colors and color the fins too at the very end. So let's get started with our rainbow fish. Did you get a look at these? Look at, look at those neat shapes. How did I make that neat shape? We're gonna be using a very interesting tool today for art. Look at that, it makes a really nice scale, right? Those are the fish's scales. And I like it because it has that sheet C shape, the scale shape. All right, you won't believe what I used to make those scales. They usually make a really tasty treat but today we're gonna to be using this. What kind of food is this? That's right, if you said it's celery, you're correct, it is celery. And I have it all cut up already. Who knows what food group celery belongs to? If you said vegetable, you are right. So we'll be using this tasty vegetable actually as our paintbrush today. Crazy, right? It's gonna be so much fun as we get started on our fish. So let's take a look. All right, so I have my fish here down on the table. I'll even put my fish in the back so you can remember what we're trying to make today. And you can see all of my art supplies are laid out. So I have my paper and my paints. Oh, what were those colors of the rainbow? Red, orange, yellow, green and blue. Don't forget there's purple too. All right, so those are my colors of the rainbow I'll be using. We'll add some glitter glue for our shiny scale at the end. And I'm using celery to make those cool scales. So I'm gonna get started with red. I'm just gonna go bloop, bloop, bloop. Making as many scales as I can. Because I don't wanna mix my paints, that's why I'm using different pieces of celery for each color. And I just dip it in a little bit and go for the next color. I'm making mine in a, in a rainbow. You might wanna just put yours all over. You could decorate it however you like. Thank 
people and I'm kind of in a nice row because I always thought fish have neat rows of scales. It's really cool like pattern. Right? Oh, maybe you're going to make a pattern with yours. That would be awesome. So my pattern is just the rainbow pattern today. I think I need more paint. I just dip it in a little bit more and keep going with my scales all down the side. Hmm, red, orange, yellow, green. What color comes next? Red, orange, yellow, green, and blue are the colors of the rainbow. I don't want to forget my favorite colors at the end, huh? What's your favorite color? What are you going to use at the end as your favorite color? My last one for the scales. I might add a little, a little more, make sure I can see that purple. Ooh. There we go. So I've got all my scales on there. Now it would be great if you could give that time to dry because they do stay wet for a while. And then you want to add your glitter glue and that needs time to dry also. So I'm actually going to put my sparkly scale, I think, back here. I'm going to cover up this blue one and make it really shine. There it is. Ooh, that's going to look great. Cool. And then again, you can pick any color you like to color the fins. So maybe this fish is going to be different than the last one I did. Oh. You know what? I got it a little bit outside of the line. And you know what? That is okay. Because what's really neat is when you're all done, you could cut your fish out. Yeah. Follow the black line and cut it out at the ends. Once it's all dry. I'm being careful since mine is still wet. So you'd want to let yours dry so that you can color inside the lines here. Excellent. All right, and once your fish is all dry and all colored in, it'd be great if you could cut them out and have them to hang up in your house. I have one more section here to color, and then my fish is all done. This is a fun one. As you can see, I used a fish template, right? My fish was already on the paper. I didn't have to draw it. So I'll have that template for um, the resources page available. So you can go there if you want to use a template. Or hey, you might even like drawing your very own fish. So there's my rainbow fish. I hope you enjoy making this project at your house. Thanks for joining me and have a great day. Bye.